Okay guys, here's a word problem number two. It's a interest problem, investing. We're gonna invest a certain amount at a percent and another part at a different percent to gain interest. Figure out how much money our money's gonna make. The cool thing about this is you all just like the last problem. Who has the biggest percent? Let that be X, okay? So that's what we're gonna start at. We're gonna let that be our X. Let X be the amount of money invested at 6%. Let X be the amount of money invested at 16%. Remember, you want the large one to be your X. Okay, so we have X at 16%. We know we have $10,000 left. So what are we going to do? 10,000 minus X be the amount of money invested at 6%. See, you know that wants to be 10,000 minus X. If I invested 4,000 at 16%, that would give me what? 6,000. If I invested 2,000 at 16%, that would give me 10,000 minus 2 is 8,000. Now you set up, now you have your pieces. Now, what's the first equation going to be? We know it's 0.16x plus 0 0.006, 10,000 minus x, right, equals 1,000. Notice the difference between a mixture problem and a investment problem is the right hand side usually going to have one item percent times money percent times money equals interest now what are we going to do we're going to dance right so that gives me 0.16 x plus got excited with the zeros my bad plus my dragon speech was trying to take over hang up notice we're distributing that 0 .06 0 .06 times 10,000 is 600 minus 0.06x equals what? 1,000 right some people get nervous with those decimals don't you can keep them what I like to do is how many decimal spots do I have there two so guess what I'm gonna do I'm gonna move his decimal over twice so that becomes 16 X move his decimal over twice so it's one two sixty thousand it was six hundred add two zeros because I moved the decimal move this guy's decimal over becomes six X equals 1,000 at two zeros, right? And look how cool that is. That makes everything nice and pretty. Cool. Oops. Let's move that. It's not gonna let me move it, so I'm not, let's see if it's gonna let me undo it. Oh, dang it, it's gonna let me keep it, so I'm gonna keep it here so I'll type it again. So now, if you notice what happens now is, you now have what? Linear equation, letters left, numbers what right so that 60,000 must cross the bridge right and become negative cool so now you know you have what 10,000 equals 100,000 this right here instead of being 40,000 should be what 60,000 right had a moment so that's gonna give me what 40,000 right now what are we going to do? Let's just go ahead and put that right here. Cool. Uh, heck. Okay. Now you know you're ready to do what? Come over here. Divide by what? 10. Good. Divide by what? 10. Good. What's our favorite saying? Bam, bam. Right? So that gives me right that gives me x 
kilo zero, that gives me x equals what? 10,000. Right? Cool? No, sorry. Stupid moment. First should be what? 4,000. Thank you very much. So what we're going to do here, let's erase all that junk. Right? So now that tells me that my x equals 4,000 pounds. I'm sorry. Four thousand dollars invested at what percent? At at sixteen percent, which leaves me ten thousand minus four thousand. Sorry, minus x, which is ten thousand minus four thousand which gives me six thousand dollars invested at what? at six percent cool I got it not too bad just gotta go from go from go from go from till you own it got it so what we're gonna do right here is sneak it right there kill that that looks wonderful I like so remember investment problems who always goes first the largest interest I don't like decimals so right here I did what move his decimal over twice if I move his decimal over twice I gotta move his decimal over twice his decimal his decimal whenever you have a number like 600 the decimal is already here so when you move it twice you're adding what zeros I know somebody's gonna have a question on that, so that's why I went ahead and took care of it. Don't talk about my zero, look like I smile this mice. Alright. That one's done.